today in the vlog. On a sunny Sunday afternoon, Diana and I set out to see one of Nanjing's main attractions, the Confucius Temple. We did get a little lost trying to find the temple, which is actually protected by a barrier of tourist trap shops and restaurants. You could say finding the Confucius Temple is very Confucian. While the area is a tourist trap, as tourist traps go, this one is pretty okay. Maybe it's because we're new here. Around the temple, you can find artisans making silver trinkets, tons of interesting snacks, and many traditional Chinese restaurants and cafes. I, I don't know what this is. Confucius lived from 551 to 479 BCE. I'm no history expert, but it's probably safe for me to say that Confucius and his teachings played a foundational role in Chinese philosophy. Do not do to others what you do not want done to yourself is his golden rule. I vaguely recall reading that a carpenter from the Middle East said something similar. I don't know what these red cards are for, but boy did I like filming them. Wait, Camrad? Found in front of the Confucius Temple, a kid with a toy machine gun. And a bigger, dumber kid with a toy machine gun. The Confucius Temple was nice, but this building was even nicer. It's the Jiangnan Examination Hall Museum, and it's beautiful. Starting in roughly 605, the Chinese developed a national civil servant exam. China tends to do everything bigger and bolder than everyone else, and bureaucracy is no exception. Students would begin studying for the exam as early as their families could afford. Each one of these scrolls represents a book a student would have to read in order to prepare for the exam. When I was a kid, I read Goosebumps. The Imperial Examination Exam lasted until 1905. That's a long time. The museum is built on the historical site of the largest imperial examination hall in China. It's great, and it has a tasteful combination of modern and traditional exhibits. This is a must-see for any visit to Nanjing. Chinese television takes some getting used to. As we were exiting the museum, we happened upon these kids, dressed in traditional clothing, learning about the exam themselves. Chinese radio takes some getting used to. Nothing solidifies a day of learning like a cocktail, and I know just the place. <laughs> 